Hello my viewers, this is Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor Mr. Mangi Francis and I'm taking you through chemistry form 2, structure of an atom and basically we are going to construct the periodic table and we'll also be able to look at the groups and periods that are there in the periodic table. So please do stay tuned to Elimu TV throughout the lesson. Once again, what are the goals of this lesson? Construct the periodic table and number two name the groups and periods in the periodic table So this is what we refer to as a periodic table Basically it contains or it consists of 118 elements Which have been classified or grouped according to their chemical and physical properties So those with similar chemical and physical properties are put under the same uh, group which we refer to as a chemical family. So there are various chemical families and the colors that you can see from this uh, periodic table represent a given chemical family. We'll look at that into details uh, in the lesson that follows. So since we have just introduced ourselves to the first 20 elements, so we'll construct a periodic table that will involve the first 20 elements and we will be able to uh, understand how this has been achieved. So this is a periodic table for the first 20 elements that we are going to construct. So for us to be able to achieve this, it is important for us to remind ourselves the first 20 elements. Be, uh, previously, we have introduced ourselves to these elements. One, we have hydrogen, helium, rhythm, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and nitrogen. And we have come up with a way that we can uh, simply remember these first 20 elements. So it is important for us to be able to do what? To be able to look at the electronic arrangement of these elements. So we have uh, one. Uh, the first energy level having two electrons maximum and we have uh, the second, third and fourth energy levels having a maximum of eight electrons. So we basically arrange them in order of the two rules that we mentioned previously, octet and duplet rule. We have atomic number 11 to 20. Remember these elements are arranged in order of the atomic number. So we have sodium up to calcium. And we have the electronic arrangement uh, having two in the first energy level, which is complete. We have eight in the second energy level, which is also complete. But the third energy level electron varies. That is, it increases by one as the atomic number increases up to number eight. But that energy level will have the maximum number of electrons that it can hold. So basically, we have arranged these elements in order of the atomic number. Once again, atomic number, number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. A number of atoms are equivalent to the number of electrons. So for us to be able to uh, achieve or to be able to construct a periodic table for the first 20 elements, let's try to uh, look at the following activity number one. So arrange the elements with the same number of electrons in the outermost energy level in the same column. So if it has one electron, we press them all of them in the same column. So for the first 20 elements, we have hydrogen with one electron in the outermost energy level. Rhythm, sodium, potassium, all of these elements, they have one electron in the outermost energy level. So those with two Press them in the second column, three, that column, four, five, six. So these elements, as you can see, how we have achieved this, uh, the first activity. We are arranging those with the same number of electrons in the outermost energy level in the same column. We also have uh, number seven, with seven electrons in the outermost energy level. And for the first 20 elements, we have fluorine and chlorine. We also have helium uh, with, uh, and, and neon. Look at this uh, number of uh, this group. 
for the first 20 elements you realize that uh, helium has been praised in the same group uh, with neon so what are the results of this table uh, when we merge the tables as, as we have arranged them you realize that we come up with a table that looks as as shown so the first column we refer to it as group one and we use uh, Roman numbers to represent these numbers. So we have group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 number of electrons respectively. But we have a helium which has two electrons in the outermost energy level. But it is not placed in group number 2. Why? It, it is stable in the outermost energy level. So it is placed in the energy or in the column where we have elements with the same, uh, with a stability state. That is number of electrons in the outermost energy level is maximum. So activity two, or we can also, as well as attempt this, we arrange uh, elements with the same number of occupied energy levels in the same row. So if it has two energy levels, for instance, hydrogen and helium, they have one energy level, therefore we put them in the same row. We have uh, two energy levels, for instance, radium, beryllium, boron, carbon, ni uh, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. These elements have two energy levels, so we press them in two uh, in the same row. Uh, the same happens to sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and uh, argon because they have uh, three energy levels. And we also have uh, put, uh, that is uh, calcium, which has got four energy levels. So we put them in the same uh, row. So when we merge the two tables, uh, the result of the two tables is as shown. That is those with the same number of occupied energy levels, same row. The rows are what we refer to as periods. So for the first uh, 20 elements, we have period 1 with hydrogen and helium, period 2 with radium starting, period 3 with sodium, and period 4 having 4 occupied energy levels with uh, potassium and calcium. So activity for this lesson uh, is just as simple as constructing the periodic table and this will help us to place the first 20 elements in their correct group and period so did we get to understand the concept uh, you can refer this uh, to chemistry students book 2 fifth edition or patel and you can as well as uh, give us or send us a text or visit our Facebook and YouTube at Erimu TV or you can give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, I'm your tutor Mr. Mangi Francis and pay tuned to the lessons that follow. Thank you.